This episode is sponsored by Teletone Audio, which is a plugging company that makes a ton of virtual instruments for music makers. Right now at TeletoneAudio.com, you can use the code HMD20 and get 20% off their single plugins in their store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Hurry before the code is done. Now, on to your episode. All right, bro. We're Happy back New at Year, it. man. Happy Tw- New Year. 2024. Back at it yeah. again. 2024. Man, um, I ain't gonna lie. 2023 was good, though. I, I, like, if it went a couple months longer, I'd be cool. I was cool. It was 20, different. 2024 was good, too. Like, 2023 was good to us. I and I like how we ended our year. I feel like we ended our year on a on a high note bar. Super strong. On a high, super, super high, high note. note, though. Like, super in everything. Note, sure but let me introduce the podcast. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Devon Terrell. Welcome to the Audio Nerds Podcast. The podcast for audio nerds like yourself. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, remember, one lucky person in the comments is going to get that VIP Gold Edition Rosetta EQ or compressor, your choice. Leave your at name from Instagram in the comments so that I can actually get it to you. That's the one thing that I feel like everybody just misses. But I'm super glad to be here. And, um... Yeah, man, I'm happy. I like where we landed, man, last year. It was yeah, a nah, it was man, a big real. year for us, bro. Like, yeah. real talk. Chris Brown, this is the first time we're going to be able LJ. to talk about that. Oh, I'm my a, fault. To the yeah. right of me. I'm sorry. My fault, OG. To the right of me. Mad disrespectful, especially for the reigning MVP. It's crazy. It's Big Jokic, Elgin, FL Studio user. Big Jokic. You know Jokic doesn't even want to play. He said, I don't even want to be remembered as a basketball player recently. He said that? Yes, he did. He I don't want I don't want to be remembered as a producer. I want to be remembered as a hit maker. That's so... What's up? What's your name? What's going on? You know, That's I'm that guy. Oh, wrong That's camera. Tr- That's crazy. <laughs> I'm that guy. I'm so used to, you know, old setups, but I, I'm that guy. You know, he may have seen me around on, uh, uh you know, c- certain people's pages. Um, Yo, so I think it's mad funny mm-hmm. that the only one of us that isn't on, uh, the only person that it shows in the Chris Brown protest. So long story short, we had the TZO episode, went crazy. Um, TZO is Chris Brown's engineer. And long story short, uh, Chris Brown wound up posting our clip, having a conversation with TZO, and that was OD. The funny thing is, one, that the clip only showed Courtney, yep. which I thought was hilarious, <laughs> and I loved it because I saw friends of mine like, wow, Chris, this is dope. And I was like, yo, they don't even know. <laughs> ah! I was like, damn, I wish it was just one, like one shot of like, mm. um, but th- it does show you, which makes me laugh even harder because it's just a moment that you like, <laughs> like, that's it and it's done and then the other thing was shout out Tizio mm. cause Tizio called me mm-hmm. when it happened and I was thinking he was gonna call me on some like yo like I was with him blah 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 Tizio yeah. said what the fuck is going on <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't know either that Chris was gonna post it Chris just did that off the wind so shout out Chris Brown nah for real never thought I'd be shout saying out, that shout out shout out shout out shout out a goat for me so shout out Chris I like I that it was you that. And I stayed, yeah, that felt mm-hmm. very, very that full circle hard, yeah. moment. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so, yeah. Shout so, out, shout out, Chris. That so, was thank dope. you, thank to, you so much to man. our um, fanship, everybody that's supporting us and stuff like that for yeah, making for that real. possible. Um, that really meant a lot. Like, that was really big, a big way to end the year. And um, we got some crazy guests coming for up real, too. Man. some nice episodes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I do kind of want to let them know who the next guest is up that we got coming up. Man. Not sure. Why you don't want to say nothing? I want to start. I, I want to start like rolling, say rolling that for it. For the up. members, man. I'm telling you. Well, they're you. gonna see it. Members are gonna see it first. They're members. All right. Are... I, can I say one? Yeah. That I'm really excited for. Yeah. We've been holding an episode since AES from y'all. That's a fact. Um, and we sure. actually say it in the co- in in the episode. Like, yo, we're at AES. Yeah. Um, Decap and LJ part two. That's a fact. We got Decap and LJ episode coming. Another I feel like one. That's gonna be that's gonna be a every name thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime yeah. we link up, I just want to have it. And then the other person that we have. Yeah. Um, that I'm excited about, which is already done. Members are gonna see this first. Is we got Ben Thomas, yes, Benjamin sir. Thomas, to be specific, and that's uh, you know, you Little know, Uzi Vert, Uzi Vert, uh, <sighs> Jasmine Sullivan, Jasmine Sullivan, um, a bunch of artists. Um, he did. I just want to rock and trust me. We asked him how he mixed it in the whole nine. So that episode is coming. I'm really excited about that, and um, and yeah, and I'm also really excited because I'm starting to see more podcasts mm-hmm. mm. in the space. Yes, um, Ooh. I don't want to say. Certain people yet because there's some people that I've been talking to behind closed doors that's about to like roll out. Nah, can I tell y'all about a podcast that's rolling out? Who? If I leak it, I leak can it. You? Sorry, bro. I'm gonna talk about it. Is he okay with it? My boy, yo. Is let, he okay with it? I know he will be. Okay. He'll be so happy to okay. hear it, actually. Okay. There's an FL Studio podcast on the way. That's a fact. Hosted by my boy Larry O. Yeah. It's on the way. Heck yeah. And I'm gonna be on there a lot. 
I'm gonna just be showing up. Yo, for us to be tr- switching teams like that is crazy. So I'm gonna be showing up like you're. I'm excited about that. We've mm-hmm. known about it for a while. We've been talking with Larry about it for a while, and I just want to. I honestly, man, I just want that to work. I want him to win. So in the back of my mind, I told him I was like, yo, bro, even when he has his episode, mm-hmm. I want him to come on just to yeah. promote the pod promote and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I'm excited. Shout out Jocelyn. Yes, Ooh, the, the mixed opinion podcast. Yes. Um, that's been awesome. I actually filmed with him the other day, so I don't know when that's coming out. My episode's but out though. Yeah, you should go check that yeah, out. Yeah, episode's out. Um, you know who I've been seeing making content, Ooh. and this is kind of funny to me. Hmm. Uh, David Youngin. <clears throat> yes, I've been seeing. He's that making content, mm-hmm. and you, it's let me, hard. It, he's, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, he's funny. He's dope, and yeah. what I, you know, what it made me think about. I was like, dang, I feel like eventually all our engineers that like the Grammy Award winning engineers and stuff, they're gonna start. Coming into the content side of everything, yeah, I wouldn't. Some of some, some of them, not yeah, everybody, of course, some, yeah. some of them. But I feel yeah. like that's important, though. Like yeah. we do need some of them to start for making sure. content, though. Like yeah, for, for real, sure. for real. But David Man. is killing it. Whatever you need, David, we love you on the couch too. By the way, shout out to Noise London, y'all. Made oh, my for year. real, that's a fact. Because they posted something. What he posted? <laughs> the right interface. Oh my god! I wish we could put a picture of it. It's a focus right. Oh my god! <laughs> that's like. <laughs> It's a focus right uh, interface, the red a red one, cut in half, and it just says right. Who made that? I, I don't know. I saw him post it, and I saw Weaver post it as well. But, okay, okay, um, okay. It's just one input, one headphone. Like that's a, so, that's, that was nasty. Like, what's your that excuse? It's nasty. Uh, you know, hey, I, there's something. So wait, how was y'all? How was y'all holidays, man? Like, how did y'all? What y'all get for Christmas? I got a Porsche hat and a Porsche cup. That was hard. Why? That's tough. Do you yeah. have a? Do you? Drive up. Never mind, Courtney. What you what you what you got for Christmas? Me, I got got a sweater. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was the most underwhelming fucking. I got a, sweater. Res- I got a sweater. regular regular stuff. You okay. know what? I, you know what I treated myself with? What? I it wasn't really a treat because you know it's free. I got a free week on Paramount Plus, and I watched <laughs> probably one of the greatest documentaries. Good talking too. about. Talking about the wow, that's crazy. Talking about one of the greatest albums of all time. Oh my goodness! What I watched album? it too. Thriller, mm-hmm. Thriller Forty by Michael Jackson. I've been seeing the Bruce Wayne clips fl- floating around. It's a great and him style. talking about the the, the SM Seven, uh, the original, and he talked about the oh, the original the U Forty Seven, the original modded. The ori- oh, so it was modded. That that SM Seven was specifically modded for Michael. For Michael, yes. And he was talking about the U forty seven, which wow. a lot of people don't talk about, but it's mad expensive. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's super it's U47. expensive. U forty seven. Yeah. Yeah. What are we talking yeah. about? Anything with a U and a seven? How about I say U seven Brent? Yeah. <laughs> like that's kind of true. I, Can I speaking of what U eighty sevens? What you about to say? Expensive microphones. What about it? I don't celebrate Christmas if y'all don't know that. But um, so I wasn't expecting any gifts for Christmas. Right. Mm-hmm. But I came home for the holidays. Mm-hmm. And there was a package on my door. Okay. From Austrian Audio. Wow. Ooh. What email? Wait. What, all right. Hold no, on. I don't want to. I, I got to talk to him. I'm like. I don't want to talk about What's that. happening? Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. So Martina sent over the OC818. Shout out Martina. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Shout out Martina. And I love that microphone. You like I've that been, microphone? I've been in the search. Well, I haven't been on a search for a new mic. Right. But I've been a front address guy. I've always talked about that. Like, right. I, mm-hmm. I only love... That's some seven B. Right, has been my go-to. Right, but that mic sounds sexy. Sounds it's good. Tough. I told you about it. Yeah, when I recorded a song with the uh, yeah, sixteen. The sixteen, mm. which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the sixteen or OC sixteen is the same capsule, but it just doesn't have the polar patterns that you can switch and stuff like that. Mm. So it's the it's the OC. So which one do you have? You have the is the OC sixteen, which is the one I have. Uh, then you the have one, there's the eighteen, which is similar to to the, mine. No, eighteen mm. is similar to the eight one eight. Except the 818 has a mini XLR on the back and it has the polar pattern functions on the front. So it's a 16, it's then an 18, 18, and then an 818. Yes. Oh, you got the big boy. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I don't know what that sounds like. It sounds amazing. It sounds I'll bring, amazing. It, I'll bring it over. We can do a shootout. Bring it, bring it, it over like... one time. Because mm-hmm. remember when I told you, remember when I had the OC16 and I did that video comparing mm-hmm. it to the Neumann yeah. U87? Yes. And bro, I'm not capping. It was, it was, it was weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was weird. Mm-hmm. I was like, he said, whoa. Well, that was weird. Like, yeah. Even the engineer I was at when I was at his studio, um, he was, um, I was shooting it out and he was like, what's this mic? Like, he's like, what is it? I'm yeah. like, bro, this mic is 400, cu- 400 cash. Um, and it's, it's, it's amazing. It's no. really, really good. I, that mic fits my voice really, really well. So I really like it. You Ooh. know, you know what I like about our, 
supporters and fans. I meant mm-hmm. to bring this up the other day. I was sometimes I randomly go into all the requests in the DMs. Yeah. And sometimes a kid or just like somebody will just ask a question or just like engage with us and says something mad profound to me, like as far as the equipment. I was talking to this kid. Shout out, I think it's Belmont Studios. I was talking to this kid Ooh, just yesterday. I know him. I met him. Fam. No. Fam. Wait. He's out here. Yes. I met this guy. I was going to tell you the whole thing. He told I, me he met you. At I met him AES. at AES. Right. And he ran down on me. Uh huh. And he said, Yo, Courtney be talking that BS, man. How, what was the clip that went viral? Which one? Sample rate? Yes. It was sample oh rate. Like, I don't even TV. know what he, I think it was the sample rate, but it was funny. We had a really dope conversation. Yeah. It was dope. And I kept in contact with him. Yeah. But, um, dang. Bam. Okay. What he said. So, long story short, he reposted your clip about. The, oh, uh, our clip about TZO and summing amps. Yes, mm. and oh, yeah, and I was like, and he said his process in the clip. He was like, oh, this is why I sum, I sum, but mm. I also reamp, and it's it, to give me that real analog sound. Yeah. So I was so intrigued by that mm. that I just hit him I was, in the DM. I was like, yo, bro, question. I know this is weird, but what do you mean you reamp and sum like your mixes? Long story short, he was telling me that he takes, he has a 16 channel summing mixer. Okay. Right? So, like, my dangerous two bus plus. Okay. But then when he's coming back inside, he has two 1073 preamps that he runs the sound into. The so, and right. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and he was like, and it really gives me that analog, like, kind of feeling sound. And I was like, hmm. oh, I never thought about running my signal back in with a preamp, like, with yeah. the, and reamping it. Yeah. And he was like, he gets a really nice sound. So, shout out to him because we and him started talking for Mad Long. And this was random. I know, yeah, like, really dope. but he was, he was he's really dope. He's intelligent. I think he's young as hell. He is. He's mm-hmm. in college. I he think. is. He but lives he is. right here. No, That's what threw me up. He was like, yeah. he's, I'm not going to say where I'm at, but he said, yo, I'm Ooh. writing blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I thought really? he had a track on my phone. I was <laughs> he like, was like nah, but he's, hold on. he's insane. Um, yeah, he was dope. Yo, speaking of preamps, right? Uh huh. So it's Christmas time. You know, all the deals are still going. Ain't on. no deals for hardware, bro. What? That needs my to goodness. change. And can I be honest? Please. I was I was looking forward to it because since September, mm-hmm. I've been on the hunt for what for a new interface. I, yeah, I think it's time hmm. to leave UAD. Let's have the conversation. Wow, I think it's you're such a hater. UAD. I'm oh, not. You. Yeah, you hate. Th- I don't get it, bro. I do not hate you're UAD. Ha- I don't. You don't hate UAD, but you're a hater of the. You, you abstain heavily. You, 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 you heavily abstain. You heavily abstain. You heavily abstain. I do. It, I see it like this, man. Great company, love their stuff. Mm. I am not the stuff. biggest Just because we say one thing is not good doesn't mean they don't make really, really dope exactly. stuff. We talked yeah. about the Polymax like, like nine we, weeks ago. I downloaded it. You were right. Um, we got to talk I, about See, I, I'm a part, but I'm not, and I, I, I like to be very transparent with the audience. To be honest, I am not a fan of the conversion, of Apollo conversion, mm-hmm. right? I'm just not a fan of it. I don't like the sound of it. I think a lot of things about it. So for me, when I'm why. at a studio and it's not, it's not bad though. Mm-hmm. I just feel like there's other stuff out there from a conversion standpoint that I enjoy more. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. In that price range. One thing I will say why where I don't understand something with a lot of these companies is mm-hmm. I feel like they're not trying to compete with UAD Apollo so much. Reason I'm saying is because there's not many interfaces that have like 16 outs that are that affordable. Mm-hmm. So I understand why Apollo just came in and just just killed everything because yeah. no, there was nothing that I saw of like of like real good quality, quality that was at that, that price was with that many ins and outs. Hmm. So that's why I was like, oh, I get why. Because hmm. if you want a Prism Sound Titan, we're talking double the price for yeah. less channels. I almost, I almost went for the Prism Town Lyra. What's oh, the, the Lyra. Oh. So can Is I say something to you? Yeah. If you get the Lyra. It is literally the same converters and preamps yeah. as my t- Titan, but just less have ins enough. and outs. So the, the reason why I want to leave my um, Apollo is because I need more ends. Mm. I don't have the rack. Mm. I only have two ends, and I need more now that I'm getting like synths. Yeah. And I just want all my guitars to just to be, be in at all the time. Yep. I never want to like switch out. I hear you. All of that. Um. So I was like, you know what? I would love to upgrade to the UAD. I'm a fan. I've been UAD for... For years, since the beginning, bro. Can bro. I tell you the first time I got, I was using an interface, right? Mm-hmm. Um, my first interface was Behringer. I'm a. What Behringer interface? Let's not. <laughs> Never said, mind. As a matter of fact, your first interface was a really Behringer interface. It? You have it? Oh, you capping? Oh, why you got that in your bag? I was gonna use it as a weapon. Later. I was gonna use it later, like for like another. Yo, can I? I you gotta slide that. Can I see? He said I, I don't know if it works for anymore. A joke and that's yeah. fire. Oh. I think that's probably where my Behringer hate starts. Yo, Levens, that's really tough. So my first this interface, like, and that was like twenty bucks. 
<laughs> it was twenty gas. Yeah, it was like twenty five bucks. This is an LJ oh, artifact right here. But I, my first tough. interface was that, and then I upgraded to an audio box from Presonus. Huh. And then I will never forget the day that I got my um. I got it off my first UAD. I got from uh. Let go. Remember when let go was a thing? Yeah. Oh, boy. oh let go was getting you, a lot of people robbed too. Listen by the way, to listen to a lot me. of people don't know that. Oh, I went with with backup. My whole family went. Oh, what? Okay. it was going to the mall anyways. I was Smart. like, you'll meet me at the mall. A lot of people but, got robbed. Um, wow. Can I tell you something? What? And this is advice to y'all people. You are never gonna get a better deal on hardware mm-hmm. than somebody quitting music. That's oh, a, for sure. oh, oh goodness, my gosh. Because I got that first UAD um, Apollo Twin. Uh-huh. For for Windows, um, and I bought that for like two hundred bucks. Oh my gosh, bro! And yo, act, yo, V's here, bro. When I first got, I said, V, we go record a whole, a whole album. album. I was hyped because I had the what? King V into that. I was yeah, so excited. Crazy, and then I was switched to Mac. Uh huh. And UAD really let me down because I had to get a new Apollo because the mm. USB version it wasn't, didn't work with. Yeah, Thunderbolt. yeah, the protocol is different. Um, but I was like, you know, I love exactly. UAD. I love the sound of it, right. and. I'm not leaving, so I went wow. and got another UAD, and um, I've been with that since. Right. But I need more ins, and yeah. I wanted to go up in UAD, right. but I also wanted to just. I you've been telling me, mm-hmm. I think Wavy even told me when he was here. What? Um, just about like the Apollo interfaces and all. That. I was like, Yo, bro, we could we could do better. We could, man. Um, I, and that, that's my opinion. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start messing around. I, I've been looking at Army. I've been looking at That's it. who I want for you. You know, I've been, I've been saying the Unbox for years. Yo. Well, I'm giving up on Avid, man. I, like, why so? Talk to me. Why are you giving man. up on Avid? I'm interested. I'm not going to... Can I tell you something? Yeah, I'm yeah, true. You can be... Yo, bro, I wanted, you can that, be I wanted true, that. I wanted bro. that so bad. Uh-huh. But I was just like... <sighs> what? Whatever. First, I tried it here. I recorded yeah. with it here. And right. I was just very confused. Ah. Uh, on, like, just there was a lot going on. Yeah. And mm. I'm sure I would get used to it, having yeah. it. Yeah. But um, it was it was a really good interface, but mm-hmm. I, like a band is crazy. So I, I, it doesn't feel like. Uh-huh. Yeah. Here's what I'll say about that interface. I think ergonomic wise, I wish it was a rack space. Yes, I think everybody wishes it was a it's rack a space. It's a monster. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a piece of equipment. I understand why they had to create that kind of form factor for mm-hmm. all the things they put in it. I feel like. They put so much into that interface as far as what it can do mm-hmm. that it took away from hey I you know from it being in a rack right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I love that there's so many inputs so many outputs mm-hmm. quality inputs yes. and outputs it's the same in, uh, preamps as their high quality interface the carbon same mm-hmm. preamps and everything oh, same yeah. preamps um, the conversion I like the sound of the conversion you're getting that for a thousand to me when I looked at it I said yo this is a, a crazy bang for your buck interface. You can even reamp on it. It has Bluetooth ins, Bluetooth out. It has mad bells and whistles, mm-hmm. change the impedance. It has everything you could want in an interface. I just think that when it comes to someone that's looking for portability, someone that's looking for saving space, it, it falls short for some people in that regard. And I totally understand. But for you, what I was saying was, I was like, yo, if you're just truly like, all right, I need more ins and outs, but I want high quality. I was like, if you don't care about it not being a rack and like it being somewhat, you know, that form factor, that is the interface that go. you're going to be like, I am Inbox? good. Inbox dude, mm-hmm. you're going to be good. All right, I'm going to tell you what sure. top three are, mm-hmm. um, just in case anybody's listening, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Army. Army. I still haven't, I don't know if I'm going to do the baby face or the step up from it. Which is the rack? Like, yeah, I think. I think it's the, fi- I don't know if, I don't know if it's called the Fireface, but I was back in the Fireface 800 Air, days. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know what the, you know, the yeah. rack, the UFX or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, right. It's between that one. Uh-huh. I'll give UAD a chance, but I, I, I think I'm kind of like one foot in, one foot out. Like, yeah. I'm out the door. Yeah. Ooh. Um, But RME, uh, the Neumann. MT oh the MT, but you're not getting your ins and outs though that you yeah, want. Yeah, I am. How many inputs you're getting? I can get up to. I'll eight at it, bro. I'm I'm not tripping. Eight at it with, but you can eight at it, but you are looking and for I'm another conversion, free, like, I'll, I'll, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, so you get, but see, that's my thing about it tripping. though, bro. Can I tell you something? That quality is so nice. It is. Like I I, I think it's worth it. But you're gonna spend more money, is what I'm saying. Because what preamp? See like this. What pre external preamp you're gonna get? I'll eight. No, I'll eight at it to like a older like rack interface at the crib but my thing is now you're compromising your sound because you can aid at it and go in and get the conversion of the 
the Neumann interface, but you're still getting the preamp sound of that interface coming into that. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I'm just like, it's not a full like, like okay, all my whole sound being captured and everything yeah. is he ah. Yeah. So it, that's why I said I was like, and I'm, I get it, I'm but getting enough uh -huh. for now. Uh -huh. To where I wouldn't need to aid at it, even mm -hmm. though I would like more, because it has four on the board, so I could get four preamps. Yeah, so I, it's two mics, two instruments, I and feel I like could, that's all you need too. For you, I would like more because I have like three go-to guitars. I have a synth. Okay. Um, I have a vocoder, like not a vocoder, a um talk box. Right. That and needs a like, stereo though. Oh no, it's no, it's just one. With your vocoder with the with the with the um. Keyboard? Oh no no the way that I'm doing it is. Mm. Um, I'm putting it into an oh, in, into you the got interface. it. It's yeah, a vocal. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. So you're good. Okay, okay yeah. I get what you're doing. Right. It's more. Um, I get. It. I get what you're saying. Okay. 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 So I would love everything to be connected, but yeah. I would be cool with two and two, because I have two mics that I go to. I have my loud in and I have my um new right. Austrian. Right. Like the instruments, I have two instrument cables in. So I think the Neumann would be perfect, and it's just steep. It's just high. How it's much is it? Eighteen, bro. Mm. Ooh, I, but I would love it. You know what? I think, I'm a, I'm, you, I think, I'm a, I think for you, I like it. I like it for I'll you. I'll try. I'll try for because I'll it's not like you're recording all this simultaneously, and yeah. it's worth it, man. I'm not gonna. It's lie. good. No, no, no. It I, is I so worth it. No, no, no. I don't get. It. I heard that interface is nasty. The only thing is, I do want to hear it get shot out with a few things. Like mm -hmm. I want to hear it against yeah. the Lyra. Yeah. I want to hear it against um, RME stuff. I want to yeah. hear it against. Because can I say something to you? There's a sound that the RME has that. Blew my mind. Can I tell you what album I recorded the RME with? Hmm. I recorded Deja Vu Volume 2 on Two. it. And I ran my converters. And can oh, I say something? The man. high end, if you go back to the album, the high end that I was do like the mixes that I did in with the with the army converters. It's very crisp. It is the bro, to this day, I'll be very like, crisp. what the fuck? Like it's the crispiest high end I've mm -hmm. ever gotten. Sometimes I go to the sessions, I'll be like, what was I doing? But I remember that I, I did a pass through on the RME converters because mm -hmm. I liked the sound of it. And I was like, let me do a pass through on my mixes. Can I give you your flowers? Top end is wild. Can I it. give you your flowers? What? And I'm not gassing you. I'm being so You don't gas you. me. You put me down a lot, which I love. I put you down? Mm -hmm. Pause. Um, I want to give you your flowers okay. because that album mm -hmm. is not only the album that changed my life, I credit it as, mm -hmm. but that album is one of... It's a classic, to yes, content-wise. It's a, no, it's a classic, mm -hmm. period. But it's also one of my favorite mixes on any album I've ever heard, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. R&B. As, as far as modern R&B goes, mm -hmm. it's up there with like, um, I forget which her album, mm -hmm. The Scissor Prod, like... Ooh. Right. It gives you that feeling and stuff like that. Yes. I'll, it, it, I will say this to you. You and I always talk about this behind closed mm -hmm. doors, where I'm like, that's my favorite album. That mm -hmm. was the album that I was like, fuck this, I'm not doing this for a while. Because you, I, I feel like every artist will hit that hit that place with if you put out a lot of albums and music where you'd be like what the fuck this didn't work yeah like it's it, 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 discouraging it, yeah. it was discouraging i put it out during covid that's what it was yeah. that's where i not fucked up but it was just i was a, a slave to my time mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it was like fuck i had a video game with my album yeah. i had whatever Can't you're not here yeah. for that oh. but <laughs> what i what i always remembered about that album on the mixing side is i remember mixing it and saying I'm going to try something different with these yeah. mixes. I'm going to make them a little quieter yeah. so I don't compromise the yeah. sound. And I'm going to move away a little bit from the low end. So if you listen to that album, you'll play it and be like, it's not as much low end. Mm -hmm. It's very clear and bright and present and just very like crispy up top. And I did that all on purpose. I could have made it louder. I could have put more low end in it. But when I listen to it and feel that album, mm -hmm. I'll be like, this feels right. so perfect. You know it's what? So right, I'm going to make this a... Not a series, but I'm going to keep y'all posted. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, I have friends that have all of these pieces. If I don't, then I am in a position where luckily I can buy it. And if I don't like it, I can return it. True. But these are my five. And I'll keep y'all posted. Like, I'll come back in a couple of weeks and say, all right, this is the one I chose. Whatever. Hmm. A five are the Lyra. Prism Sound Lyra. The mm -hmm. Mbox from Avid. Mbox mm -hmm. Studio. Um, The Al UAD. We'll do UAD, UAD the, the Apollo, Apollo X or one four of them. whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. Apollo. Um, RME. RME. And that was four, by the way. Uh, I have one more in mind. I just oh, Apogee. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I forgot about that. Yes. I'm oh my god. Yeah. So you know what I will say? Mm -hmm. My interface. The reason why I got it. Um, I have the Apogee Symphony IO Mark II, mm -hmm. Mark II Special Edition Mastering Grade Converters. 
one of the, I got to say, I got to say it all. One of the reasons why I got it was I had two Prism Sound Titans. And remember my issue, I was running. I was like, damn, I got two Prism. That's great. I got 16 channels. But I was like, yo, I really want to, I don't like using ADAT. I don't mm -hmm. like using it. You run into a lot of different issues down the line if you don't do it right. Because sometimes when you change the interfaces like sample rate or just clocking, I was running into new things that I was like, I don't want to deal with this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with having to clock my two interfaces and now I'm getting a little bit of jitter or now I need to get an external clock. It's very confusing. Yeah. It's a very deep subject, but I just didn't want to do that. I said, I want a one-stop shop interface with a thousand ins and outs and I'm good. That interface is extremely expensive if you create the modules that you yeah, want. You so that's what I liked about it, that I was able to go on the site and just choose. I want 32 ends, 32 outputs. Right now, I have so many inputs and outputs that the way I'm able to matrix out my speaker system and everything is stupid. Yeah, I got 16 channels of summing, clean. 16 channels, no problem of just like, I stem out, literally the way I'm able to create separation in my mix because I mm -hmm. have so many channels mm -hmm. is fire, bro. Like I get to stem out my drums, two sets of music, so I can do pianos there, key, uh, guitars there. All my effects is separate. My background vocals are separate from yeah. my actual vocal. Like the separation I'm getting because I have that many ins and outs is that. So that was me just like growing as an engineer and just like yeah. I want to up my sound. And so I was like, oh, this is the one I wanted. So it, I did a, you know, I did a lot of research on that piece before I got yeah. it, and I shot it out. That's up on um on my channel. I shot out the Apogee Symphony I/O versus the Prism. Not saying one was better than the other, but I did have a preference. certain preference that I was looking for. I was looking for an interface that sounded really hi-fi. Mm -hmm. That shit nailed it. Because the parts that they created like to build that, they created within the last two years. So I knew I was getting the newest yeah, fucking shit on the world. And I was like, I don't want to sound like nobody else. I want when you when I mix and use this, that mm -hmm. it just sounds like no one else's shit when I run it through my equipment. And it does. It's yeah. wider. The transients are bright. Like, I just like the way my interfaces sound. So Absolutely. that's Shout how I live in my Those will be my top five. I will be honest as hell. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited. I'll, I want to see what you like. And I'll try them out and I'll come back and I'll, I'll give them an analysis. Okay. Um, um, I'll analysis. test any. It won't be like any sponsor. Yeah, thing yeah, or whatever, yeah. But, um, I want RME for you. I'm shooting for RME for you. Shout out DK. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I think Larry sold me on that Neumann personally. Oh, but, well, that. It, but. 1800 yeah, it's, just, it's, it's the 18, price point. Yeah. I, I, I can understand. I'm shooting that. for the Apogee. The, which one? The Symphony? Uh, here, whatever, whatever Apogee. Yeah, I don't know which Apogee with. is in it's my the, price range. The Symphony, the, the regular it Symphony. It has to be a Symphony, yeah. symphony? Mm -hmm. right. they got a And they got a Oh, yeah, a I'm definitely one. shooting for the, for, for the Apogee. Yeah, so your yeah, team yeah, Apogee, sure. your team Army. I'm team. I just need an interface, man. Because <laughs> I can team say I'm healthy. team UAD because I've been there for a while. I yeah. love the console. Mm -hmm. But then the Neumann thing is just sexy. And I've been inbox for like year, like for the last two years. I don't know. So... What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. I will talk to y'all. And if I'm missing anything dope in that little, I'd say maybe between eight fifty and two thousand. Mm -hmm. That's my price range. The Not even two thousand eighteen. Like whatever the Neumann is, is the max. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm to, trying to think what else is in that range. I'm trying to give him a Clorette. In that thousand Clorette, the Octo Pre, cool. I'm not you know what it comes to, which. I think it doesn't. It's they not that it sounds bad. From that, just better preferred right? sounds. They have a no. Scarlet that's Conversion. above the Claret. The Claret is above the Scarlet. And like it's no, Scarlet. it's not Scarlet. They have an interface above the Claret. Mm -hmm. I saw that NYU. Shout out to uh, Safar. Oh, red. The focus right red. Yeah, it's it? a. That, and now yeah. let me say that interface is mm -hmm. slightly legendary. Like the, I He's think it's like focus right slightly red. Slightly legendary. It is because it had a time mm. in studios. Like when I would see it, I'm like, oh, they got the red. Mm. And then I started to kind of see it fizzle out. I don't know what they're doing on the high end side. Focus right also has the ISA preamp. That's what mm. people don't realize. They killed the budget friendly market so oh, much yeah. that y'all associate them with budget. Exactly. What yeah. people don't realize the focus right stuff um, was killing. Can I say something about that Behringer interface that threw me off? Yeah. It has Midas preamps. Yes, which is a fake, which is a, a big. I'm, a, I'm not aware. Got yeah. you. It's a popular company. I think Midas makes a lot of live boards, hmm. like live stuff. I think they're a British company, Midas. But those preamps, that's I'm what gonna, I'm like. They got Midas preamps. Lie. I brought this to make because I found it, um, and I brought this to make a joke about it. But, but it got that um, serious. It friend. got dumb serious. <laughs> Just looking at this interface, I'm not gonna lie. It is catfish. This looks sexy. It got it got it something real to it. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like, it looks like the vault. Off the walk, on, no, off it the look, walk in, it looked like, better than the, uh, the, the Scarlet to me. Then the Scarlet? It looked like yeah, Scarlet. Nice red, right. blacked out Scarlet. Now, the new Scarlet is, looks fire. The, the new, new Scarlet one, is sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this yeah, is like Scarlet 2015 is I got this or something. I'm so sorry. You know who we're missing? I'm so glad before because people would have been ripping us apart. Audient. 
oh, audience. Yes. I'm so sorry. And I brought that up to you. The mm-hmm. I eight. I forgot what it is, yeah. but a lot of people like the audience with the smart. Remember the you you I I slid you that interface a while ago. Audience with the smart gain, mm-hmm. where basically yeah. you don't even got to set your preamp. It, you literally hit smart gain, and it'll optimize the preamps for the signal. And so, you know, and the conversion sounded nice too when mm-hmm. I heard it. So how much do you like this interface? It's huh? not crazy. Like it's in that eight a thousand dollar um range, and it's like mm-hmm. mad ins and outs. Audience might be the vibe. Word. <laughs> might I'm be the vibe. So glad you I said might that be before the vibe. this went on because they would have mm-hmm. been killing me for that. Audience is definitely there. Shout out audience. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even remember the damn. Joke I had with this damn interface. My fault, OG. It but, was an adult. No, no, no. It's, it was. We were being serious. I'm, I'm messing with it. If you want it now, though, you could get it for sixty nine ninety nine from Bear, uh, from Sweetwater. Why don't you sell it for fifty cash to somebody sign it? Uh, I don't know if it works. I think the reason why. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna put it in the comments. Like, yo, if you want his interface, because the reason I still give it away. It's just for parts and repair. <laughs> um, what you take it from this? Yeah, the Behringer. It's like I think the reason why I upgraded mm-hmm. be, is because it stopped working. Okay. It was one of those where I, I wasn't mm. too knowledgeable. I was just like, I just need something to record. Twenty dollars for an innovate. I'm not gonna yeah, lie, that is it. mind boggling. It and it said, "Ooh, that ew, we was on the road when we first got that joint." Because before that, you want to know what my first real interface was? What? The Phantom Power Supply. Okay, that was <laughs> yo. I'm not gonna lie, that still blows my mind that you had the a Phantom, Phantom Power Supply. It was That's a Phantom nasty. Power Supply that gave just 48 volts just for your mic to work. And once we switched to this, it was like. On, you was bro. like, yo, the forty eight volts is on board. No, I, it wasn't. It was just like, yo, this sound different, man. <laughs> this little Midas thing, it's Ooh, it hitting different. It sound bright. And then guess what? What? We we went to 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 Audio Technica <laughs> or who was it? It was the I who? think it was yeah Audio Technica, right? What about, yeah. They made the audio box. We went I don't the, know nothing about we the went, interfaces. We went to the audio box, the blue, the little blue and silver joint. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it was like, yo, this shit hit. <laughs> then we went to UAD. Turn it and up. the UAD was hit UAD so is good. A and huge the UAD step was up. sexy. It was. It was it very was like, it, it is it was the prettiest interface I've ever seen when I first seen it. For sure. Um and I never knocked it. I just have heard You could not better. like it, bro. Can we can we talk about what we don't like? Can I tell y'all what I don't like? Can we save it for another episode? I'll tell you one thing I don't like. What? I don't like y'all Ableton people going into 2024 thinking- Everybody behind us sucking. Oh I don't God. like Ableton thinking that they're going to have their FL year. It's okay. We can double back. We can, I ain't going to lie. We can Jokic. They can do really, it. They no, won't. They, can. they can do it. But any, You have no faith in your people, bro. Anyway. I said, I said you won't. Oh, I said we gonna do it. We gonna double back. We could do two. Courtney got faith. Shout out to Courtney. Yo, yo, rep your gang, bro. I ain't gonna bro, lie because we need to stay in ten toes on the set. Thank you so much. This has been an Audio Nerds Podcast. Podcast for Audio Nerds like yourself. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, remember, one lucky person in the comment section, at least a fire comment, is going to get that free VIP Gold Edition Rosetta EQ or compressor. Please leave your at name so I can actually contact you from Instagram and say you've won. And then please hit me back. It's free. Um, we really appreciate you guys. This is the start of the new year. Yeah. Um, we're really excited about it. For There's real. a bunch of announcements that we have. We went, we mentioned Benjamin Thomas is going to be mm-hmm. here, right? Yes. So mm-hmm. you're going to get that. Members, you're probably going to get that within a, a day or two from this episode. So you'll get that early. Um, I'm really excited about that. And um, yeah, continue to support us. And um, yeah. I have an announcement, man. What? It's the first time I'm, I'm speaking about this, yo. Hmm. So I'm putting up a new pack. Sorry to bother mm. you. Volume one is out on ljsarchive.com. Okay. It's 10 loops. It's like really, really dope, weird stuff. And they're really just bare ideas that I rock with. And I feel like people could kill. If you do use anything in the pack, send it over. I would love to send it out for placements and stuff like that. Just make dope stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm probably going to have it free. Um, cause I gave it out to a bunch of people free. Uh huh. Just to test um, it out. See if not even to it. test it out. Just like, yo, yeah. hey, Merry Christmas. And a bunch of people hit me back. So I was like, all right, I'll put it on a store. It's mm-hmm. probably going to be dirt cheap, but okay. yeah. And if you, if you want, um, anybody who buys it, man, you, you'll be entered into a raffle to get a signed Behringer unworking. Disgusting. Euphoria UMC 22 value $69 with my signature, maybe a hundred. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Ooh, like come on. Talk about your $40. $40. Come on, bro. Yeah. Come put, on. Put 40 on your name, bro. Come on. Yeah. Shout out Behringer. It's sponsored. No, it's not. Do not <laughs> start. Because we, we got these weird, some weird commenters that think that everything we say is sponsored or yeah. or we're being, you know, if are you being paid. Ba- if you think Let me tell you something. <laughs> Yo, I wish all wait, the people of, that yes. I see viral clips go for that mm-hmm. we say 
we're fucking sponsoring our episode. I wish. But Maybe. if we do, and shout out to these people that sponsor our episode, we appreciate it and we won't stop. And I want you to know that it's helping us to grow mm -hmm. um, in order to be able to invest in this thing because mm -hmm. this thing ain't free. So I appreciate us having sponsors so that we can continue to um, grow this platform and deliver what we deliver uh, to our fan base or else it can't exist. That's because the way the world works. So I appreciate our fanships um, can I tell you what it is, for man? everything, for supporting us. It's like... And our sponsors. We'll show love a lot of love to someone we love and it'll be oh they must be sponsored right and then we'll sh we'll like not show love and it'll be like why they never talk about yada yada it's underrated mm -hmm. oh they don't know yada yada it's like man there's, but, there's hey, no that's, winning there's no winning but don't we do we, win we do win at the end of the day true. and we win um, by point. having some of the greatest supporters in the world yeah. so shout out to y'all man yeah. if y'all want this Behringer catch me at NAM. I'll sign it for you on the spot two dollars we're out of here y'all uh my audio nurse podcast until next time let's see if this should work what like, let's what? see if it works it, off camera it, it, if it, it works crazy oh, to do. we gotta test it we gonna do a shootout this versus apogee I'm dead.